Now that we learned the central limit theorem, we will put that into use in finding the mean and the standard deviation of our sampling distribution. Now the formula that we will use in finding the mean and the standard deviation of a sampling distribution will be given by this too. So mu of x is equal to the population mu or your sampling distribution or the mean of sampling distribution is simply estimated as your population mu and for your sampling standard deviation it will be the population standard deviation all over the square root of your sample size. So let's use this two formula in finding the mean and standard deviation of this given example. So let's say that we have um, a given distribution of the height of young women given that it's mean or the population mean is 64.5 and the population standard deviation is 2.5. What will be the mean and the standard deviation if you randomly select 10 women as your sample? So in this case, we know that the population or the average height of young women based on the population is 64.5 with a standard deviation of 2.5. How will it be different if we collect 10 samples of women and find its mean and standard deviations? So let's say this is our pool of uh, young women and we are going to record their height. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 randomly selected women and we're going to uh, let's say find their height and collect the data set and find its estimated sample mean and standard deviation. So based off the formula without actually looking at all the heights right here we know that the estimated sampling or sample mean for this 10 sample will be 64.5 inches because the estimated sample mean will be your population mean because of the central limit theorem. Now for your standard deviation it's going to change because we're going to use the formula in finding the standard deviation given 10 samples and it will be sigma or the population standard deviation which is 2.5 divided by the square root of 10 which is 2.5 all over the square root of 10 which gives us 0.79 inch, inch. So this is your new sampling or sample standard deviation based out of your 10 sample size but your mean will stay the same because of the central limit theorem. So this is how we use the formula in finding our sample mean and standard deviation that's coming from a normally distributed population. Now let's use the same normal distribution and this time let's um, change our sample size. So with the same distribution of young women's height of 64.5 and 2.5, what will be your new sample mean and standard deviation when your sample size is 100? Now for the sample size of 10, our mu of x is 64.5 and our standard deviation is 0.79. So what will happen if we collect um, 10 times of this first sample size that we have and compute for their sample mean and sample standard deviation. So let's say this is your 10 women and then you add let's say 90 more, let's say this is 90, to your sample, what will be the estimated sample mean and standard deviation for this particular um, problem? So your mu of x will not change because according to the central limit theorem it's still going to be the same. So it's 64.5 for a sample size of 100 but for the sample size of 100 with your standard deviation it's going to change because it's going to be the population standard deviation all over your sample size of 100. So 2.5 divided by the square root of 100 will give you 0.25. So notice the difference between the standard deviation of your 10 samples and the standard deviation of your 100 samples. So the bigger your sample size is, your standard deviation will become smaller and that is also true from the central limit theorem that we discussed before. Now, you need to understand that if you draw a simple random sample from a population with a, normally distrib or a normal distribution, the sample mean is estimated as your population mean and the sample standard deviation will be given by st of population standard deviation all over the square root of your sample size. Now using the same normal distribution, let's answer this probability question. So given that the height of young women is normally distributed with 64.5 and 2.5, 
what is the probability that the mean height of 10 randomly selected women is greater than 66.5 inches? So in this case, we'll sample or we'll take an SRS of 10 women. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we're trying to find the probability that the, this, these 10 selected women will be taller than 6 to 6.5 inches. So what will be the probability that they will be taller than 6 to 6.5 inches given our normally distributed population mean and standard deviation? So the first step is to find your sample mean and your sample standard deviation. And for mu of x, it's going to be 64.5. And for your standard deviation for your sample, it's going to be 0.79. Now the second step is finding the z-score because we're Looking at the normally distribu distributed um, data set, we can use the z-score z in estimating our probability. So we have z is equal to x minus mu of x all over the sigma of x. So using this formula, we'll be able to find the value of z, which is 2.53. Now this z-score, if you plot it against your density curve, wherein your mu is equal to zero, the standardized value of your z, which is 2.53, will fall under this um, area. So this is your z, which is 2.53, and we are going to compute for the area under the curve, which is basically the probability that the sample will fall outside this um, value. So we'll have probability of x, which is greater than 66.5. And when we standardized it using the z-score, we can now change it into the probability of z greater than 2.53. And there are two ways on how to find the answer to this problem. It is by using the uh, um, z-table in your uh, statistics book, or you can use your calculator and find the normal CDF for z greater than 2.53. So you should know your syntax by now in finding the area under the curve using a z score. So therefore, your area under the curve will be 0 0.0057. So to put it in the context of our problem, the probability that 10 randomly selected women will be taller than 66.5 inches is 0.57%.